We're getting a better look tonight at that mystery ship sitting in the bottom of the Picto Harbor, a much better look. The name of the vessel and exactly when it sank remain unknown, but divers have been pouring over the site and bringing back some fascinating video. Your CTV's Dan McIntosh. It's the first time anyone has laid eyes on this ship in more than a century, and dive team captain Robert McKay is understandably excited. It's beautiful, beautiful wreckage, beautiful wreckage. That's one of the nicest wrecks in Nova Scotia. It never was touched. You know, it's only in 45 feet of water there, and you know, the profile is coming up off the bottom 20 feet. It's huge growth on it. It's been there at least, at least 100 years. The ship was accidentally discovered last month during upgrades of navigational charts. A 3D image was created, and that fueled the excitement about the mystery shipwreck in Picto Harbor. Seven divers from Nova Scotia and PEI took cameras and equipment out to look at the wreck about 600 feet from shore. You know, you wouldn't think something was ever there, you know? You wouldn't think it. Nobody ever dives Picto Harbor. You know, but it's just, it's an amazing wreck. It's just, it's amazing. Being on a newly discovered shipwreck is something that sometimes only happens once in a diver's career or maybe never. Divers spent more than three hours underwater with two or three feet of visibility. Afterwards, they all gathered around screens to see their raw video. Now this part, I don't know what that is. I looked at that several times and I could not figure out what that was. I know, it's a toy for something. It's a toy, but there's also, it looks like there's a, something inside it as well, right? Yeah. It's wooden and it's three-dimensional and that's very rare and unique in the Maritimes, especially in salt water. That's something like you would see in the, the freshwater lakes in central Canada, not here. The boat is about 196 feet long, twin propeller with a wooden hull. Each propeller, you wouldn't get each propeller in a dump truck. It's huge. Each wing, four wings on each propeller and each wing's four feet. It's absolutely massive. The divers believe the inland location of Picto Harbor may have helped protect the ship all these years. Well, I've been diving here 25 years, and for a wreck this shallow to be three-dimensional and intact like this is just incredible. You know, especially being a wooden hull wreck, that's unheard of around here. We're the first group to dive this wreck ever. It's, it's, it's okay. exciting. McKay plans to apply for a heritage research permit for the site. He hopes that will help protect the ship and at the same time give his team a chance for an even closer inspection. Dan McIntosh, CTV News, Picto, Nova Scotia.